Hey guys, this is Neon Nezi back again with another Destiny 6 video. Today we have a new update and it kind of sucks for me because I just recorded this video and I did all my summons, but it didn't record audio and which is why I say karma is a, you guys know what it is because I guess that's what I get for not making videos for a week and leaving all my subscribers high and dry, right? So first thing that I want to do before I go into the update notes is explain to you guys why I have not been inactive or why I have been inactive. Um, but if people want to get straight to the update notes, go ahead to the description down below and there will be a timestamp for that. So basically what happened was I made my last video and then I thought about it after I made that video. And I was just like, I wonder how much I could get done in my, with my days or with the time that I have if I just did not game in general. So... I stopped gaming completely for an entire week and it was actually pretty insane how much I could get done without actually gaming. And I think, you know, people out there should do this. I'm not trying to say don't play Destiny 6. That's not the reason why I left the game, guys. The game is definitely growing and it's going to be successful, right? I swear to God it is. But the reason why I'm saying this is because some of us spend hours on a day. I know I used to spend about five hours a day on Destiny 6, which is an insane amount of time. And taking a week off from gaming entirely has just kind of opened my eyes in the sense that I am now an adult and now I feel that I can more um, efficiently plan out my day and just be a better student, a better gamer, and just a more adult human being in general, right? Eventually, we all have to make up, we all, we all have to step up and make that decision, guys. And I'm not saying don't game. I just, I'm just saying that I just needed to take a step back and just uh, breathe, you know? But anyway, I am back and I am not leaving anytime soon. It's just that if I made a video to explain that I wouldn't be making videos for a week, what would happen was that I'd be breaking the promise that I made to myself. And then I made the promise to Easy the Gamer that I would be doing a few videos with him. And I'm not going to go back on my word. And then just yesterday, Corey Carey commented in one of my previous videos. Um, he said, no, I won't unsubscribe and neither will my brother. You haven't said or done anything to disgrace yourself. We love your videos. You seem polite. I'll be watching. And that just that just touched me, Corey. And a lot of people have been subscribing to my channel throughout my week of absence. Like, I stopped making videos when I had 714 subscribers. I now have 727. Which is insane, guys. You guys have truly touched me. And which is why, for putting you guys through this two-minute long explanation of where I've been... I'll be doing a gift card giveaway, two gift card giveaways when I reach 750 subscribers, both for $10. So you guys have that to look forward to. But first of all, open up that link in my description. Go ahead and as you guys scroll through, as I talk, I hope you guys will scroll through the update notes yourself. That way you guys can control my speed and also your own speed of going through the notes. So I just got um, Paper Ingrid in the summing video that I did, which I cannot post again because of not because of no audio. Thank you, Karma. So I have my notes here as I always do. So if you guys have opened up the link, then it says update. Then there's a table of contents for new update contents. Then there's a video of Ingrid. Then there is her lore. And then there is a huge picture of her. And if you guys scroll a bit down, you guys will see leader skill, skill one, skill two, basically skill breakdown of the unit. So let's get straight into it. Paper Ingrid on my notes over here, which I always have notes before I make a video. I have her under two words. Best debuffer. She has poison, shock, and burn all on one skill. Is that insane or what? However, they do have a amp time or they are reliant on her amp level. For example, at amp 1, she will only poison. At amp 2, poison and shock. And at amp 3, poison, shock, and burn. This is absolutely insane. Granted that the cooldown is the standard 5 second, the chance to poison goes up to 12%, uh, the debuff or the chance to poison or shock and burn go up from 10 to 12, and then the targets, uh, the duration of all debuffs go up to 12.5 from 9.5 seconds, but it's it might feel a little, it's pretty darn good. It's not the best 
if it was the best, it would have bleed in there too, which if you guys did not know, bleed is the only DOT effect dot or damage over time effect in the game that scales off the target's current HP. Now, as the as the target's HP gets lower and lower, these effects over here, poison, shock, and burn, will be doing way more damage than the bleed effect. But for those huge, huge bosses with like just infinite HP, you guys definitely need bleed. So if you guys pull her though, she is going to be the one unit that you guys will use in Giants for her shock and Destro for her burn. Uh, what else was I going to say? I think that's it for her first skill. Let's go on to her second skill, which is Dark Matter. Has a 50% chance to launch the target, which goes up to 55%. Then the chance to increase target's current debuff. Um, increase target's current debuff goes from 40% to 50%. And the debuff duration goes from 8 seconds to 12 whole seconds. This is a stack and skill. It can be used twice. And this is basically Ingrid version 2. Only version 2 got a hell of a lot uh, more OP. She has the same chance to increase the debuff duration, and the debuff duration will increase by the same time as Ingrid, a 3-shot unit. However, she has Poison and Shock added on to Ingrid's first skill. Poison is going to be great because it'll actually reduce the status resistance of the opponent, making it easier for you to land your debuffs. And then Shock interrupts the opponent's uh, casting of skills, which, if timed correctly, can be a lifesaver. So definitely 5-star uh, worthy unit right here in grid she is worth it um, if I were you I would build her on bravery or concentration possibly bravery because poison shock and burn do scale off of uh, do scale off attack so you guys will be losing that damage from concentration and then if you guys have a ton of uh, a ton of status activation substats Go with Grit Crest. If you guys have a ton of cooldown substats, go with um, go with Precision. I don't know why I lost my uh, I don't know why I lost uh, my train of thought right there. But let's see this again. It's a multi-hit, uh, quite a few multi-hits actually, and then so this will only. That will only poison, 2 amps will burn, uh, I, I'm sorry, poison and shock, and 3 amps will poison, burn, and shock. Second skill over here, just one big hit, decent sized stacking skill, which is great. Let's take a look at her strike. She has those two balls around her that, that just like fire lasers, which is pretty cool. That is a pretty cool animation. That's a pretty cool animation. So let's go back here right now. Her leader skill basically just increases the attack power. I think that's what it does. Yep, by 15% for all Trogar units. And then we're not even going to talk about her strike position because she is going to be detrimental to your core three. Okay, let me just drink some water right here. Okay. Scissor Ingrid. I have her under offensive sustain and immunity. She has a lifesteal uh, and blinding, so already we can see her being used in Nightmare or Hell Auto, as well as Arena. So, lifesteal, because she has, she has, she has a lifesteal, I would suggest you guys uh, orb her on Concentration instead of Bravery, because that will do more damage, um, hence increasing the amount of lifesteal that, that, uh, that you guys will uh, deal or receive back. 12% chance to blind, though. It's a really, really low chance to blind. I mean, it, I'm sure it's a multi-hit. But um, in all honesty, if I were to use her, it would be very hard to use her for both Arena and PvE. I would just pick one, and I will give you guys a breakdown for both in a bit. <clears throat> then we have... Uh, sorry, first kill. 12% um, chance to blind. 40% life steal at max skill. Skills of attack. Second skill is Plan Medicate, which will also only reduce uh, cooldown by 5 seconds. Recovery is insane though, goes up to 200% of her attack power for 6 times, then also will create a shield that goes from 9 seconds to 13 seconds, that will ignore debuffs, not reflect, but ignore, which is pretty darn good, and then remove a debuff from, from the target times 2 at max skill, which goes from 1 in at level 1. 
Her leader skill is attacks of scissor uh, heroes increased by 15%, and her strike, again, I think she would be best served on the core three. So don't put her in the striker position. We're not even going to look at her striker skill. Let's see her animations, though. That deals damage over time. That's actually pretty easy to count, so let's count this. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits, so that's 12%. That's basically 60%. That's pretty good, actually. Maybe a few substat, um, maybe a few substat uh, with status activation, but overall, I would just go for attack and cooldown. Second skill, it does deal damage. It does deal damage. And then here is her strike. Is that, that That's like Spirit Bomb from, uh, from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that looked pretty cool. So I would, if I were to use her for Nightmare Auto, I would go with Concentration and Grit because I wanted to maximize damage. Yes, her healing will be reduced on her second ability, but the heal from her first ability due to life still will actually be increased because of the critical hits. And she and she has and she's just gonna make your runs faster with concentration. Also, cooldown is important just to have her heal more. And her heal is good enough, so I don't think you guys need her on bravery. However, if you guys are going for arena, then I would suggest you guys can go concentration as grit and grit as well. But you guys would need some status activation substats because both the landing of the blind defect or uh, blinding debuff and the removal of buffs both scale off of her status activation. So precision might not be a bad idea. That being said, uh, there is a new package. So if you guys scroll down, there's a new package called Oh Happy Day, 5,000 rubies, 5 skill dragoons, five legendary summon scrolls, and 500,000 gold. Rubies and gold are a little less, and I can't show you guys the package because I bought it, meaning that it has my approval for being actually pretty darn useful or worth the money in the sense that you guys get five skill dragoons and five legendary summoning scrolls. Then we have the gold booster, which from the guild, uh, whoops, I opened the codex. The guild bo gold booster has a limit right now to only be bought every 24 hours. Now, I have no idea why I op opened up the shop. Now, you guys can buy it twice a day, which uh, is actually pretty darn nice. So, if we go to guild right, uh, right here, that's pretty darn good. Uh, improved monthly packages in the sense that they will be initialized at the time of the month. So, they'll be refreshed at the, at the month and rather than on the maintenance date, which is really, really good. And then, of course, the... What was I going to say? Um, the monthly packages, though, in their own sense, have not been updated. So the monthly packages in what they offer or what you can purchase has not been updated. It's just uh, when they are going to be initialized or when they're going to be refreshed. Then we have improved legendary crest summons. I don't like this idea. I mean, it's fair, right? It is fair that you can now summon Precision and Persistence from Legendary Crest Summoning Scroll, but I think Grit is the most useful uh, crest in the game, simply because you guys can, you, you guys can go up to 60% cooldown, which I still think should be reduced to 30%, but simply because cooldown plays such a huge role, Grit is definitely what you want, and the fact that Precision and Persistence can now also be summoned just means that your chances of grit uh, being summoned went down from 50% to 25%. Basically half. And then we have fixed an issue where the device slows after completing an achievement, which is great. Um, if we just go here, I'm, this is the same thing as purchasing keys, basically. And this has been fixed on Android devices. iOS apparently never had the problem. But if we are here, right? And basically me doing this, I mean, I just want to get, get up to 2,500 uh, keys before I start farming. That right there would have caused the game to crash. It would have just had the loading icon right there. And then what it would have done um, also was that it would have also uh, brought up this token or this box saying that 
connection lost or something. And also here, check this out. That's pretty darn uh, quick, guys. Like, there's just no lag. There's like a slight stall, and then you get the reward, which is much better. They're making the game more smoother. They're bringing out new content little by little. I think Destiny 6 is on the right track. Um, they just have to make it a little bit faster in the sense, bring out Guild Wars a bit quicker. Speaking of Guild Wars, um, we have some space available in the Guild. We actually have seven slots available. So, um, so again, if you guys can auto everything in the game, if you guys have great orbs and crests and a wide variety of units, please apply and I will let you guys into the guild if I deem you worthy. Um, Tereus, if you're there, join us again, dude, because we do miss you. So that being said, I think that is all for this video. Again, thanks again for tuning in. And thank you for staying, staying subscribed. I am here. I am back. I am here to stay. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any requests for future videos, go ahead and let me know. And uh, that's it, guys. Until the next time, Neon out.